Grace, I didn't hear you come in. You must have beat me here. I hope you're ready for some romance tonight, sweetheart. I want this to be the most romantic, wonderful sailing trip that we've ever taken. I want to make up for that ski trip, the one that we went to and Julie and Ivy showed up. <sighs> a real nightmare. Anyway, we're all alone, just the two of us. I'm gonna go up top and set sail. We'll be alone together tonight. Just you and me. <sighs> okay, Grace, we're out of the harbor. We're heading out to sea. I decided not to put up the sails. The motor on automatic for a while, so we'll have enough time for dinner. And our little romantic holiday is going to start right now. Yeah. Grace, honey, are you all right? Mm -hmm. You're still in there. There she is. I want to remember this moment forever. When I turn around and see the woman I love holding her arms out to me. Yes, I am the woman you love. Have you... What in the hell are you doing here? Where's Grace? Oh, Grace won't be joining us. How did you get on this boat? Where is she? What did you do to her? I didn't do anything to Grace, and why she isn't here isn't important. What matters is that you and I are alone together, Sam. It's just you and me. I'm calling Grace. Don't, Sam. All I want is one night. Just one night of love. the love we had and all those nights we shared. All I'm asking for is one night of passion. Just make love to me once, Sam, and we can erase all those years that we were apart. Is that too much to ask? Are you insane? I have told you over and over again that I'm in love with my wife. What you and I had was over years ago. You know what I should do? I should throw you overboard for pulling a stunt like this. Go ahead and do it. My life has no meaning without you in it anyway. Do you know the kind of hell I have had living with Julian, pretending to be the ice queen? Well, come on. Huh? Does that feel like ice to you, Sam? Turn this boat around. I'm heading back home. Grace would probably be still waiting on the dock for me. You don't want her to see us together, do you? No. It would kill me to see how hurt she's going to be. But I'm going to tell her everything tonight. Okay. Oh, the hell I can't. I should have told her about us a long time ago. But since she's going to be hurt anyway, it's time. She needs a little truth. I turned the boat around and we're headed back to the harbor. But the compass is missing from the box on the deck. Missing? I cannot get us safely back to shore without the compass. What did you do with it, Ivy? Oh, um... You mean this little old thing? Give it to me. Are you telling me that without this, you can't get home to your precious grace? I could navigate by the stars, but there's a fog rolling in and some cloud cover. So give me the compass. I'll make you a trade. The compass. For one night of life. That's not even up for discussion. Now give me the compass. What would you say if I... Oh! Accidentally lost the compass out the porthole. Okay, Abby. Stop kidding around. Who says I'm kidding? Look, it's dark, the fog is getting thicker, and I'm tired of your games. Now give me the compass. I'll give you the compass for one night of love. And just to make sure that Grace doesn't interrupt us, I've already tossed your cell phone over here. You know, I, 
I can't believe how irresponsible you are. You know, tossing my cell phone is bad enough. But if you toss that compass, we are in real trouble. We could be lost out at sea for days, and there's a storm coming in. Do not leave us unprotected. I don't care. I lost at sea. At least we could be together. You know what? We could be alone together for a year, and I wouldn't make love to you. Don't you get it through your head? I don't want you! You! Do you realize what you just did? You could have just signed our death warrant! 